Welcome everybody to another box opening for Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, this is probably one of the greatest sets to come out ever because there's a lot of great cards in here uh, like Crystal Wing, uh, Odd Eyes Venom Dragon and all that stuff and then there's like Staple Synchros and Xyz and, and probably one of the greatest uh, archetypes to ever exist which was Light Sworn which I'm trying to rebuild but kind of in with a Twilight Sworn kind of thing hopefully make a good an interesting deck out of that stuff so I'm really hoping for Light Sworn stuff uh, I don't remember what else is in here but uh, let's just uh, get to the opening I know there's a lot of rare staple stuff I guess I don't know how to say it but uh, like, I know Brian Mac might be in here. There's a lot of rare cards that just got reprinted in this that were high in value. So. And this was cheaper than the most sets that have shitty cards in it. So. So, uh, let's get to this long opening. Super excited for this one. Starting off, we got Raid Raptor Satellite Cannon Falcon, uh, Perform Pal Odd Eyes Minotaurus, Guy Dragon Knight, or Guy Dragon the Thunder Charger, Gareth the Light Sworn Warrior, and we got Vision Hero Witch Raider. Oh, yeah, I forgot there's some heroes in here. That's pretty cool. I was always a big. Uh, elemental hero and well I guess hero fan my favorite deck of all time is probably the Dark Gaia deck but yeah it's I've always I started out playing the heroes because they were just an archetype that just synced with me so yeah that's pretty cool uh, we'll put our secrets right here no actually we'll put it we'll do it that way Got Celestia Light Sworn Angel, Neo Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon. I like the Galaxy deck, but it's always too expensive. Twilight Ninja Kagen, number 107 Galaxy Ice Tachyon Dragon. And we got Sage of Eyes of Blue. Awesome. I heard this was good for Blue Eyes decks and Buster Blader's decks. So I have more of the Buster Blade deck assembled more than the Blue Eyes, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Sage of Eyes of Blue is a pretty valuable card right now. Just based on what I've been looking up. On, on TCG Player, that is. Alright, we got Evil Swarm Excitin Knight. I think he was a staple at one, some, one point. White Moray. Uh, Gladiator Beast and Abada. Super Heavy Samurai Helper. And we got White Ore Dolph Dolphin. I've never seen this. This these cards before, these white cards. Like these white sea creature cards. Which is kind of weird. Gladiator Beast deck was pretty good too. I think that was like a staple back in 2011 and 2012. Archfiend Zombie Skull. Solar Recharge. Crusader of Endemion. Abyss Script, Abyss Attainment, and we got Artifact Sanctuary, or Sanctum. That actually looks pretty cool. It's like an armory. And like a steampunk armory. It's pretty cool. Cactus Bouncer is our first card. I don't, kind of weird that it's in here. Uh, Lazian the Time Lord. It's weird. Uh, Dragoonity Knight Day Gay Ur Dirge. Wow, had one mouthful. Crusader of Endemion and Odd Eyes or Performer Pal Odd Eyes Synchron. That's interesting. I didn't. It's weird that they have a Synchron. That would be funny that there would be an Odd Eyes Warrior. 
Synchro Monster. All right, we got Sadion the Time Lord, Destiny Hero Dreamer, Destiny. Uh, why did I even say that? I had Destiny Heroes in my head. Kamian the Time Lord, uh, Super Heavy Samurai Steam Train King. Wow, say that one five times fast. And we got Cyframe Lord Omega. I heard he was a pretty decent card. I don't know that for sure though. We got Celestia the Light Sworn Angel, Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, Wolf the Light Sworn Beast, Anti Spell Fragrance, pretty good card. White or Whale. Again, I don't know. Well, I guess if you're making a fish deck, but. I don't know where these came from. I guess this is, I don't know if that's new or or not. They do look cool though. Cactus Bouncer. Number 11, Big Eye. Heard that was useful. Witch of the Black Forest, which I know it's, uh, you know, off the ban list. Wolf, Light Sworn Beast. And MX Saber Invoker. He's a pretty good level three or rank three for Earth monsters. I'm guessing. All right, we got DDD Super Doom King Dark Armageddon. Wow, it's a mouthful. Solar Recharge, oh, man, DDD Super Doom King Bright Armageddon, so I'm guessing, you know, his brother, uh, Buj Bujinte Sukuyomi, which is a pretty useful card, and Destiny Hero Dystopia, I love Destiny Heroes, especially, I love, my favorite one is uh, Diamond Dude, because you can always say it in a funny way and it still sounds funny, Diamond Dude. Yeah, this was a pretty good card. I think I was going to use this for uh, Light Swarms at some point. Probably still would. Yeah, there's a lot of good cards in this set. Highly recommend picking it up if anything. All right, Solar Recharge, Performer Pal, Odd Eyes, Mintors, and a Spell Fragrance, Spellbook, Magician of Prophecy. And we got Phantom Knights of Breaksword. I uh, heard Phantom Knights was pretty hard to play. Because they're trap monsters kind of thing. Kind of a weird mechanic. I mean, I think it would, the deck would be made if uh, if you had Uriah in it. That way you don't have to seize all the time. Alright, we got Space Time Transcendence. Archfiend Skull, or Zombie Skull. Kami and the Time Lord. Giant Rex, and we got Mermail Abyssius. Never cared for mermaids. I think they were meta at one point. Could be absolutely wrong about that though. Cactus Bouncer, Lazian Time Lord, Infernoid Devadi. Interesting looking. Judgment Dragon, awesome. And we got Bl Gladiator Beast Noxious. Uh, I think this is like the gores of the car of the deck. Something like that. But yeah, that's awesome. I got Judgment Dragon. Now, if only I can pull the the Punishment Dragon from Coda the Duelist. That would be cool. Elemental Hero Nova Master, probably a good uh, super polymerization side deck kind of thing. Got Galaxy Soldier, Raid Raptor Final Fortress Falcon, uh, 
Felis the Light Sworn Archer, Gladi Beast Tamer Editor. It's a weird name to give him, but that's pretty cool. He looks pretty awesome. I think he's a moose because he has antlers made out of lightning. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Nova Master looks pretty cool as well. Okay. All right, we're halfway done. Whoops. Put that one back. Got number 62, Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon Dragon. Uh, Super Doom King Dark Armageddon. Odd Eyes Lancer Dragon. Vision Hero Adoration. And Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Awesome. He was a, I'm assuming he was a pretty hard to get card. I did pull him once from another opening uh, back on the other channel. Because uh, I was going for. I think it was, I forget what it was, I forget what pack it was, but I pulled it and it was a cover card, so maybe Shining Victories, I think it was, but yeah, I was going for, it was probably the only uh, uh, pre promo monster I was going for, and now I have two of them. We got Raiden, the Hand of the Light Sworn, another Number 62, Raid Raptor Final Fortress Falcon, which is Black Force. Double Evolution Pill. Pretty sure this is good for uh, Jurax and Evil Slurs, whatever they're called. Jurax are pretty interesting. They're pretty much just a power deck, really. There's really no strategy to it. Bring out more monsters, the more powerful your monsters were. Got Raid Raptor Satellite Cannon Falcon, Sadie and the Time Lord, Abyss Script Abyss Attainment, uh, Zafian Time Lord, which looks cute. We got Odd Eyes Venom Dragon, awesome. Uh, requires a uh, Starving Venom Monster and an Odd Eyes Monster, so that's pretty interesting. Yeah, she looks uh, pretty cool. I'm pretty sure there's no such thing as a Time Lord deck. So, it's a shame. Got Abyss Actor Curtain Razor, Excited Knight, Spellbook Secrets, uh, Bright Armageddon, and we got Denko Sekai. Uh, forget why she's in here. Oh, that's interesting. She's pretty much a blocker for spells and traps. Got Lumina Light Sworn Sumner. Wish I got her her dark form. Uh Curtain Razor, Adoration, uh, Spellbook Magician of Prophecy. We got Trishula, awesome. Forgot he was in here, I thought. I'm pretty sure it was Brian Knight, what I said earlier, but it's cool that we got Trishula too. I always like his uh, his quick play spell, because it kind of is like, uh, you use it against Trishula, and it's kind of like, whatever happens to me, happens to you as well. Or if you use it on your on the same side of the field, uh, it's like double the punishment. We got Foreign Foul 5 Rainbow Magician, Vanity's Fiend, I think he's banned but I'm not sure. Zafian, Giant Rex, and another Dystopia. That's my first double. I think. Yeah. He's, I think he's my first double. Different Dimension Ground, Lila the Light Sworn Sorcerer, 
Super Heavy Sam Samurai Steam Trained King, Jurassic Impact, and another Nox Gladiator Beast Noxious. Yeah, definitely like the gores of a uh, Gladiator Beast deck with a not so cool effect. Just bring it out when there's a direct attack. Got number 11, Rooter Strix, Odd Eyes Dissolver, which I'm pretty sure it's needed in a Performer Pal deck, or Odd Eyes deck. Jurassic Impact, we got another White Aura Whale. Sad that I'm not probably not going to get a Minerva. And I got three packs left to go. Rutrix, Raiden, Spellbook Secrets, Forstrix, I'm pretty sure this was a needed card. We got another uh, Tamer Editor. It's pretty, he still looks pretty cool. Don't know if I would ever use him in the deck though. I mean, he does require two level fives. Most of them are level four or three. At least that's the ones I use. Currently using uh, Clyre Beast in my uh, Duel Links stack or Duel Links game. Destiny Hero Dreamer, Lila Lightsworn Sorceress, another Twilight Ninja Coggin, Miracle Contact, and another Cyframe Lord Omega. Yeah, I'm getting doubles now. White Moray, Super Heavy Samurai's Fist, Bujente Sukuyomi, Otis Lancer Dragon, and we got another Witch Raider. Pretty much started ending this uh, opening with the same card we started with. So yeah, uh, let's see. We'll go through all the secret, or er, yeah, all through the secret rares. Witch Raider, Omega, Beast Tamer Editor, White Aura Whale. Noxious, Dustopia, Trishula, uh, Denko Sekai, Adai's Venom, Big Pill, or Big Evolution Pill, Crystal Wing, Tamer Editor, Noxious, Abystius, uh, Breaker Sword, Break Sword, Dystopia, Invoker, MX Saber, Invoker, Y Aura Whale, Omega, Adai Synchron, uh, Sanctum, Artifact Sanctum, White Aura Dolphin, Sage of Eyes of Blue and a Witch Raider. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I think I got better cards out of the regular super rares than I did in the the secret rares. Besides I wanna say besides Trishula uh and Crystal Wing. And Sage of Eyes of Blue. So, I guess besides those, I think the Supers uh, win as far as cool cards. So, uh, yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm probably not going to do an opening anytime soon because uh, these boxes are expensive. Uh, but if they're on sale, I'll definitely pick one up. I definitely need to pick up another... Uh, Spirit Warriors, and probably another Battle of Legend. Uh, yeah, because those those two booster boxes are probably the most uh, useful of all the boxes I've seen. I may go with Steel or the Hidden Arsenal five and six, because uh, I th I think I like those Hidden Arsenal more than more than others. So uh, yeah. So uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next video, whenever that might be.